Super Bones by Diane K. But before we start our book, let's get some background info. Blossom knows everything. In, in her words, I know that, that a sneeze can travel at a speed up to 100 miles per an hour. Lobsters pee from their faces and turtles can breathe through their butts. The oldest living tree in the world is around 5,000 5, years old. Male seahorses give birth, and I know that kindness is not a superpower. Now let's get to the story. Super Buns was super kind. She had glistening ears, a warm happy smile, a huge heart, big caring eyes, and a fluffy tail. It's just so cute. She loved being kind no matter what her big sister Blossom said. Thanks, Super Buns. Super Buns, hmm. For the tenth billion time, your name is Buns. You're not a superhero. Blossom was 100% positive. Superheroes have powers like strength, speed, and leaping tall buildings in a single bound. But it's not a superpower. Blossom was a know-it-all. She knew everything about everything. I know, I know everything about everything. That kangaroos cannot hop backward, and I know that almonds are a member of the Rose family. In fact, dinosaurs lay eggs. In fact, the planet Venus spins backward. In fact, Glumbershoot is another, is another word for umbrella. Two facts. An ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. And the peanut is not a nut. And I know that you can't eat hot cobbler without cold milk. So come on. The bunnies were on their way to Grammy's with a fresh baked piping hot carrot cobbler. Heidi, hi, mm, sorry. Blo Blossom thought all this kindness was slowing them down. Heidi, your smile makes me smile. Here you go, fishy fish. One pancake coming up. <gasps> time, time. Time will get you nothing but cold cobbler. Make it snappy, Buns. We still gotta pick up milk. But Buns couldn't help being super, even to her sister. Super Buns, after you, Blossom. And after you too, Miss Fox. I noticed that you've been following us all day. Did you say... Fox? Blossom knew exactly what to do. Run, Buns, run! I know all about foxes. First she'll gobble up the cobbler, then she'll gobble up us. Here you go. Thank you, Miss Fox. I won't gobble up your cobbler, Miss, or you. I'm not hungry. I'm lost. Can you help me get home? Blossom was speechless. Almost. Lost? Well, why didn't you say so? I know everything about being lost. Did you know that the most common lost items are keys, phones, eyeglasses, and shoes? Once Buns lost her homework and I found it in Miss Lynn's flower pot. The lost city of Atlantis has never been found, and Raccoon was the lost colony. I know that letters in loss can also spell lots and slot, and that loss is the past tense form of lose. And Grammy once told me that I am never lost for words. So we just take Bunny Lane to Carrot Drive until we come to Miss Muffin's Marvelous Muffins, and then we'll take a sharp right turn up a hill to to North Hasselhoff Drive. We'll, we'll follow that all the way to Foxtrot Trail and and you're home. Thanks for helping me not be so lost, Super Blossom. And just like that, Blossom learned she didn't know everything about everything. Maybe Bunch was right. Maybe being kind was kind of super. Let's go get that milk, Super Buns. Granny's waiting. And that is the end of our book. Bye-bye.